food. Uh, here's a reason to be thankful to the gods. You have grown up since we last parted. Grown up, Masala, when you sailed away to Rome, I was already a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to your quaint Jewish <laughs> traditions, you were a man, but I saw you cry ah. like a soft-hearted boy. I was losing my best friend forever. Oh, huh? well, now I'm back. And thankful to you, if you are, the childhood friend I used to call brother, his features were rounder. His hair never cut in the military style. Are you an oar slave who has escaped to assume his name and murder him? <laughs> we have both changed much in the last five years. I am now a commander of the Roman Legion. You were a prince of Judea. <laughs> oh, Judah. I have seen such wonders. I have, I have tasted the world. <laughs> And how does it taste, Masala? Uh, rich and raw and ours for the taking. Ours? Rome's. The world belongs to Rome and to, to those who are friends <sighs> of Rome. Look at Judea. According to your holy writings, a sort of David was established here forever. And now, it's a Roman province governed. And now when your new governor, Gratis, makes his triumphal entry into the city, who do you think will be leading the guard of honor? Hmm? Masala. We will pass by the ramparts of your father's mansions. It will forge you a new look at my oh. new bane mare. I think she's a racer. Well, she may have to be a racer if the protests for Gratis get out of hand. Judah, if you know of anyone planning insurrection or protest, it is your duty to... I was it. only repeating a common rumor. I'm not such a fool as to start it. Masala, I have looked forward to this homecoming so much. <laughs> Must we talk politics, old friend? What is there? In this mighty empire, there are lands still to conquer. There is glory still to win. And you can be a part of it. How? By being a soldier? <laughs> Soldier, no tutor, you have wealth, influence. You would be a good friend to Rowan. One day, one would repay you. When I'm governor here, you could be my high priest. What? Uh, Masala, you of all Romans know what sacrilege it is to offer me that. Our streets may be patrolled by Roman soldiers, our taxes may go to the Roman government, our. our our people may be subject to Roman justice, so-called, but leave us our religion. The high priest, the one who can enter into the Holy of Holies, the servant of the one true God, to turn that sacred office into a political favor. <laughs> what is to be a Jew? To him, there is no religion save his own. We have gods too. Joe. Who lends us his eagles so that we may encompass the universe? Eros, who warms us with some friendship and love. Mars, who guides us to victory in war. What is your, your, your one true god against the mighty pantheon of Rome? Our god led us here. Uh. And he will save us. The Messiah will come. Oh, yes. Your Messiah. My Roman legions kill off a dozen messiahs every week. Judah, your Messiah is not the Messiah, but Masala. If you will cooperate with me, I can help you. Masala, Rome is a fruit with a rotten core. Out here, we can smell the stench <laughs> that you mistake for sweetness. No. We have survived enemies before. And we will long survive after Rome has been destroyed. Rome will endure forever. Here I am offering you the hand of friendship, of brotherly love, and you dismiss me as your enemy. Offering friendship? of giving me an ultimatum. I wish I had not come. Mm. I sought a friend and find a, find a... Roman, consider this carefully, Judah. He who is not a friend to Rome is Rome's enemy. And mine. I was right. Masala died the day he left for Rome. You were a stranger, and we could never be friends. Never. Be it so, Judah. If Eros is dead, then let Mars prevail. Mars, the god of war!